Four simple words that could save your life and the lives of others. Drive baked, get busted. Sergeant Steve Gaskins from Florida Highway Patrol is here with the details on their latest campaign. First off, welcome to the show. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning. We appreciate you're here. I don't know if I appreciate the ma'am, but you know, <laughs> we'll take it. No, appreciate you here. And of course, thank you for what you do for our community every day. So let's thank first you. talk about this new campaign, because obviously with the law change with medical marijuana, everything kind of had to follow suit and there had to be some changes. So talk about getting this word out and what is the message behind the campaign? Um, we're really not changing anything. This is still an impaired driving situation that that's what the Highway Patrol, the Florida Department of Highway Safety Motor Vehicles and agencies across the state of Florida are trying to focus on. Uh, we do not want people out there driving when they're impaired, whether it be alcohol or drugs. And I know when it comes to marijuana, there are different things or, or maybe some of the same things that you're looking for, but I know there are five different things that you do look for if you pull somebody over. What are those? Well, typically we're gonna see slower reaction times, people's inability to, to keep their thoughts in process, uh, memory loss, okay, even short-term memory loss where they you know, maybe forget where they're going and forget what's going on, um, hand-eye coordination, things of that time, uh, type of issues that we keep seeing, uh, delays in reaction time while the people are driving, your ability to, to reason and judge distance and space, which is critical while you're driving, that's where we have our problems. People aren't reacting quick enough because of the slowed reactions because of the drugs and alcohol. And I'm assuming we've, we've touched on a lot of the negative consequences that can happen, but it never doesn't hurt to keep repeating them. What are the consequences that people need to be aware of out there if they do decide to get behind the wheel while they're impaired? Uh, if you get pulled over and stopped, you're, going, you're looking at uh, jail time. You're looking at expensive fines, attorney fees. Uh, you're looking at something uh, very negative being on your driving record for or arrest record for the next up to 75 years, which could very seriously impact your ability to get into college, uh, get a job. Um, and these, these are issues that deal with, typically we're seeing with 18 to 24 year olds and 55 to 74 year olds. Um, and especially for our young crowd, where driving is already a problem for them because mm -hmm. driving is a learned behavior. The longer you do it, the better you are at it. It's a learned uh, response uh, for, for humans. And you start adding in distractions and drugs, alcohol, and things of that nature. You're, you're adding on to the problems that we keep seeing on the highways. I'm curious, you know, of course, we, we are talking about this, and like you say, it's always been illegal to drive impaired, but with the change in laws for the medical marijuana, have you seen an increase? Have you seen people using this as a defense? What are you seeing that maybe has changed when it comes to being out on the road? Um, the FHP troopers have received some training that uh, very clearly indicates what is or isn't medical marijuana and what we can and can't do. Um, we're, we have no stance on that. That is what the, the lawmakers, uh, the, the citizens of the state of Florida, that's what they want. What we need them to understand is not behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. That's the problem that we have. Um, the impairment is, is the problem that we're seeing on the, on the side of the road. Uh, car crashes, people getting injured and killed. In 2016, you're looking at 934 uh, drug-related crashes, 440 people losing their life. And we're trying to keep that number as close to zero, if at all possible. And we need everyone's participation to understand uh, if you want to take advantage of what the laws are right now in the state of Florida, that's fine. Just you can't get behind the wheel when you've been taking the alcohol, the drugs, or anything like that. And, and this includes prescription drugs as well. Mm -hmm. So you need to be cognizant that if you, you know, go to the doctor, uh, you know, the proverbial root canal, as I frequently mention, um, where you get a, a, a Vicodin or a Percocet, for example, to deal with you know, very severe pain. We understand that, that's fine, but you can't be driving when you're taking that kind of medication. Uh, drugs and alcohol can have a very serious impact on, again, your ability to reason, judge, um, and react to changing conditions, that especially we see here on, in the Tampa Bay roadways here. You know, there have been a lot of successful campaigns that you have had for the state of Florida when it comes to driving, and this is just another one. What do you want to share with people out there as far as getting their participation? Like you just said, you want everybody to participate. What can we do to help in this campaign? Um, ed educate yourself. That's what we're doing right here. We're going to reach out to a whole bunch of people through your market right here um, and, and educate yourself. Understand what the limitations are, what you can and can't do behind the wheel. Uh, pass this on to friends and family. So if, if someone sees this segment, I hope they go and talk to their friends or family, their schoolmates, um, you know, co-workers and say, look, I got some information here that's pretty good. Uh, I, yes, we have medical marijuana now here in mm -hmm. Florida, um, but I didn't realize that it could really affect my driving ability. So I need to maybe do a, you know, a stop and think about this before I get behind the wheel of a car. If I can tell so many more people this and all our 
public information officers across the state of Florida reach out and get this message out, maybe we can save a life. And that's what our end goal is. Well, thank you for your time. Yes, thank you again for everything you do every day to keep us safe. And again, four little words we've got. Drive, bu drive baked, get busted. Remember that, folks. Thank you again.